I was walking in the lion's den. And everything I did just wasn't working like retirement. I was flirting with the Leviathan, purchased but wasn't buying. A serpent sold me alive, but I'm certain, homie, I'm fine. I interpret closely and find that the fruit on this tree I knew not to eat was only designed to keep you and me from pursuing the reason God is divine. Hey, hey it's the new knowledge of good and evil. Just eat it and free your mind. He repeated that second line, like repeated that second line. I mean, like, why would a serpent lie? Why would a serpent lie? That's a good answer. Hey, if you're curious, Jeremiah, take this food I gave to the wife, grind it smoothly, roll up two doobies, and you will provide the fire. Wow. Your enlightenment will be the lighter. It's proven to get you high, but don't do it like in the movies, because usually movies lie. Yeah. Okay. Like newbie and rulers in pyramids with rupees inside. I'm schooling you how to do it. I used to be cool with God. And music was my design. I'm digressing. No time for questions, y'all. Just listen and I. I told y'all, listen and I. Forget about it. There's no time. See, this fruit will make you like God. Remember, why would I lie? The blueprint will be imputed to every human. The movement is instituted. The second you take this food and you chew it, just do it like Nike signs. Your cruise is scheduled at two. It's a ship I made just for you, and I promise that you won't die. It's a journey through the middle passage to the land east of Nod that will further you into Egypt, and everyone will survive. Don't worry, I'll give you pride. And I'll never be by your side. Forever give you facades and a clever little mirage. See, you confuse me with God. Who gave you this coupe that only sees two? It's cute, but the fruit is the entire garage. Take this fruit intravenously. Make this fruit into deity easily. He could have seasoned you with the knowledge of you and me, but no, he kept it secret. I know it's hard to believe, but he's not who he claims to be, so I need you to take this tree and emancipate all creation from the scandal of their creator. I'm going to hand you this AK spray and plant lamp during the prayer. Here's a camera, J.G. Creator. Decapitate after rape and attach it to every email, then tag it on every playlist. Abolish all of your slavery, acknowledging that you hate them, then follow your selfish dreams. Then follow me into Hades. See, like, technology, politics, and astrology will debate on behalf of this fruit, attacking the Savior and any Jew who has even the audacity to proclaim him. Equip all these pastors with blasphemy. Rip and shatter his masterpiece. Quick, I've gathered the recipe. Flip the batter like Abby D. Mix and master catastrophe. Get this fast, because your master creeps and he's on his way back. You lack the capacity to perceive it. Stop thinking. Procrastination is only fine when you need it. Look, homie, it's not persuasion. I'm trying to get you to see it. He's fake. It's treason. Hey, let me kindly respond to you on how I see this, okay? God's evil. He's like creating a cookie monster with diabetes. That's a disease where your insulin levels are. So the cookies are like sugar. And then like watching him try to complete an impossible fast from sweets but then dropping him into a street filled with chocolate cookies and cream and then haunting him in his dreams with the consciousness of his disease, but then rocking him back to sleep and then mocking him with this tree filled with Keebler people. Those are elves that live in a tree house cookies. <laughs> this coffin is not where you want to be. Peep it, Eve, she's already deceived. Now you, eat. forget about Jesus. Repeat, rebel, and then exit this Garden of Eden in heaven. Freedom. That's the illusionist. That's not real freedom. But he does that. See, that seemed like two hours, right? That was only about 90 seconds of persuasion. And I got some of you guys to believe that that actually was freedom. If you believe that that's actually freedom and that God is evil and that evil God will come and make people die and make bad things happen, then you have been deceived. Because the real God is love. An infinite love that is perfect, that is only comprehendable by the Holy Spirit. And if you want to comprehend this love, and you want the Holy Spirit to come into your life, and you want to be raised from the dead, then it's by the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Messiah, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. By His blood, we are redeemed. See, a perfect God came as a man to save us, to die and take the curse. See, we believe that lie. We believe the lie that brought sin. And unsin brought death, but then Christ came, God came to become that sin so that we can get eternal life and be reconciled with the Father. That's free. Hey, point that.